I'm trying to present to you some of the most important uh, terms that we come across in our AS lessons. Uh, I've taken this from AS Equilibria lesson. Towards the end of it, you have um, this lesson and you are supposed to know how to define and explain or try to uh, comprehend exactly what is meant by these Bronsted acids, Bronsted bases, conjugate acids, conjugate bases, and conjugate acid base pairs. You must know the definitions and should be able to explain what exactly each and everything means. When it comes to Bronsted acids and bases, we'll talk about Bronsted acids first. We know what acids are. Even though we don't learn the word, we normally talk about ionic acids. And these are substances which dissociate in water, see the word water, to form H plus ions. On the other hand, this thing called Bronsted acids, we don't talk about water. We only say they are able to produce hydrogen ions, they, or they donate H plus ions into another species. So when you talk about this Bronsted acid concept, especially, we don't have to talk about a medium. In low levels, we say acids are substances which produce hydrogen ions in water. But when you want to define or explain a Bronsted acid, we don't use that word in water. We simply say Bronsted acids are substances which give hydrogen ions. It can be in aqueous medium, liquid medium, or gaseous medium, any medium. However, when it comes to Bronsted acids, its opposite word is, opposite term is Bronsted base. If Bronsted acids give hydrogen ions, the opposite of it, Bronsted bases, they are substances which accept H plus ions. So Bronsted bases are substances which accept H plus ions from acids. Of course, you get hydrogen ions from an acid. So Bronsted acids produce hydrogen ions or release hydrogen ions. Bronsted bases accept hydrogen ions. Uh, it's better if we talk about a few examples of both uh, conjugate acids and conjugate bases. First, we talk about a few examples for conjugate bases. In the first example, you can see hydrogen ions plus H2O, producing H3O plus. H3O plus means hydroxonium ion, no oxonium ion, anything is okay. This oxonium ion has been formed due to acceptance of H plus by H2O. Because H2O gets hydrogen ions, we say water is a Bronsted base. And in the second example, we have uh, another substance which can act as a Bronsted base. You see ammonia in H3 given in red. It has taken a hydrogen ion because it accepts hydrogen ion to make NH4+. We say ammonia is a Bronsted base. I don't think it's difficult to understand. Water accepts hydrogen ion, it's a Bronsted base. Ammonia accepts hydrogen, it's a Bronsted base. Similarly, we have another one here. H plus plus HNO3 given H2NO3 plus. This is pretty weird, isn't it? We know HNO3 is an acid. Acids are substances um, acids are substances that act as acids, okay? That, that remove hydrogen, actually. Here, what is happening? H, HNO3 is acting as a Bronsted acid because it normally gives hydrogen ions. But actually, in this case, it is not a Bronsted acid. You know, I, I just wrote this Bronsted acid because usually 
it gives hydrogen ion. But in this case, it is not a bronze state acid, it is a bronze state base. We can identify certain substances as bronze state bases only by observing chemical reactions. Remember, even though uh, I should have written HNO3 can act as a bronze state acid, when I give this word HNO3 is acting as a bronze state acid, yeah, it's not very really accurate because you may think oh, it is acting as a bronze state acid in this equation. No, no, no. In this equation, HNO3 is acting as a bronze state base, even though I have written it like this, because that's the usual case. However, in this chemical reaction, HNO3 is not a bronze state acid, it's a bronze state base. However, whether a substance is an acid or a base, we can easily identify only through chemical equations for some substances. Uh, in the same manner, we talk about some bronze acids. We can take one example to explain the meaning of bronze acid here. In number one, we have H3O plus. It is oxonium ion. Oxonium ion has released a hydrogen ion and gone to H2O. Because H3O plus releases hydrogen ion, oxonium ion is a bronze acid. Hydrogen donation has happened here. In the second one, in H4 plus, it has given hydrogen ions and release ammonia. Because H plus ion has been released by NH4 plus, is obviously a Brunstead acid. NH4 plus is a Brunstead acid. And then when it comes to the next example, H2NO3. H2NO3 is giving hydrogen ion and form HNO3. Because H2NO3 plus gives H plus ions, is obviously an acid, a Bronsted acid. So H2NO3 plus is acting as a Bronsted acid. Again, I would like to say that we can easily identify if a substance is an acid or a base. Uh, in terms of bronze terms, the bronze state acids and bronze state base, the best thing is to observe the equation. Equation tells you exactly what happens to uh, the substance under your consideration. We can identify certain substances as bronze state acids only by observing chemical reactions. Okay, uh, we, we we went through. Uh, Bronsted acids and Bronsted bases in, in separately. Now, I think it's uh, better to study, bring these two together and observe what happens in the chemical reaction because we can learn something more. See, I've written an equation where um, a Bronsted acid base reaction happened. See this H2. Water here, what has happened to it? It has gone to OH minus by removing a hydrogen ion. Therefore, H2O is acting as a Bronsted acid in the forward reaction. While H2O is acting as, a, as an acid in the forward reaction, what does this NH3 do? NH3 has gone to NH4 plus by accepting a hydrogen ion. Because NH3 accepts a hydrogen ion, why don't you call it a base? So NH3 is acting as a Bronsted base in the forward reaction. Okay, I'm talking about forward reaction, yeah, because this is a reversible reaction. So there are backwards reaction as well. We will see what happens in the backward reaction with OH minus. See, it was H2O molecule that has changed to OH minus. For the backwards reaction, OH minus takes a hydrogen ion from NH4 plus and goes back to H2. So this OH minus is accepting hydrogen ions. It is accepting hydrogen ion means it is a base. So for the backward reaction, OH minus is a base. Now the interesting thing that you had to observe is look at this H2. This H2 is acting as a bronzed acid. But the OH which has been produced by H2, it is acting as a Bronsted base. 
Now, a bronze steel acid has produced a bronze steel base. Acid is for the forward reaction. Bronze steel base is for the backwards reaction. Similarly, NH3 is behaving as a base for the forward reaction. When NH3 acts as a base by accepting hydrogen ion, what happens to NH4 plus? NH4 plus in the backwards reaction, NH4 plus releases hydrogen ion, thereby acting as a bronze state acid. NH4 plus is acting as a bronze state acid in the backwards reaction. For the forward reaction, NH3 is a base. NH3 makes NH4 plus. For the backwards reaction, it is a bronze steel acid. Now, some important thing to learn. H2O acid removes, I'm identifying H2O as an acid because H2O has given a hydrogen ion to NH3. H2O acid removes an H plus ion and changes to OH minus. You can see this H2O going to OH minus. And this OH minus is acting as a base in the backwards reaction. We say the OH is a conjugate base. Please learn this term. If an acid produces a base, that base is called conjugate base. Now this water acid produces OH minus base, which is conjugate. Always an acid produces a conjugate base. Similarly, here we have NH3. NH3 is base. I told this NH3 base is going to change to NH4 plus. It is an acid. If NH3 is acting as a base and produce this acid NH4 plus, this NH4 plus is called a conjugate acid. NH3 accepts a hydrogen ion and changes to NH4 plus. This NH4 plus acts as an acid in the backwards reaction by releasing a hydrogen ion. Therefore, NH4 plus is called a conjugate acid. That's a complete react, complete picture. Before we move on to the next part, you should have a very, very clear idea as to what we are talking about here. An acid produces a conjugate base, a base produces a conjugate acid. Now, we'll take another example to explain bronze state acids and bases. I've shown two water molecules. One is in black, one is in green. On the right-hand side, we have OH minus and H3O plus. Please try to compare this H2O shown in green on the left-hand side with the H2O, H3O plus name in, given in green on the right-hand side. This H2 um, yeah. See here. This H2 shown in green is acting as a bronsted base. How do we know? This H2 goes to H3O plus. It has accepted hydrogen ion. So H3O is the base. Now, this H2O, which is shown in green, is acting as a base because someone is giving hydrogen to it. The water molecule shown in black is acid. It is giving hydrogen ions to H2O. So for the forward reaction, H2O is acid. H3O is base. Uh, after giving hydrogen 
this H2O changes to OH minus. OH minus is acting as a bronze state base in the back first reaction because this OH minus can go back to H2O by receiving hydrogen from H, H3O plus. So if you receive hydrogen from H3O plus, it should be acting as a bronze state acid in the back first reaction. See, H2O, one H2O goes to OH minus, one H2O goes to H3O plus. H2O acid removes an H plus ion and changes to OH minus. OH minus, which acts as a base in the back first reaction. By, accent, by accepting H plus I. So we can say the OH negative is a conjugate base. Water acid produces conjugate base. We'll see what happens to other water molecules when given in green. Similarly, H2O accepts the green water. I have shown the water in green here. Similarly, H2O accepts and H plus ion and changes to H3O plus, which acts as an acid in the backwards reaction by releasing an H plus ion. Therefore, the H3O, H3O plus is called conjugate acid. And if you talk about conjugate acid, bear, acid base pair concept, please pay attention to this and learn it well. Remember this, this is not difficult, something very simple. And acid releases a hydrogen ion and produces a conjugate base. And acid produces a conjugate base. Similarly, a base accepts hydrogen ion and produces a conjugate acid. Base gives a conjugate acid, and acid gives a conjugate base. And these acid conjugate base and base conjugate acid pairs are called conjugate acid base pairs. You understand this? From the first blue line, acid releases hydrogen and become conjugate base. So this acid and conjugate base are called conjugate acid base pair acid and conjugate base. And second one, we have a base here. Base is accepting hydrogen ion to change to conjugate acid. So base conjugate acid is a conjugate acid base pair. Uh, you can learn this better uh, in a real example. Uh, we talk about this. The following bronze acid base reaction okay, has been given to you. CH2SO4 here, sulfuric acid, reacts with HNO3. In that sulfuric acid is a bronze state acid because it is giving hydrogen ions. Who is taking hydrogen ion? Bronze state base HNO3 is taking hydrogen ions. Now what happens? H2SO4 access branched acid, HNO3 acts as branched base, and a new HSO4 minus is formed by H2SO4. It is called conjugate base. Sulfuric acid, which is a branched acid, produces HSO4 minus conjugate base. So what do you think will happen to branched base HNO3? It has to give conjugate acid. H2NO3 is a conjugate acid. So we can see H2SO4 and HSO4 minus is one conjugate acid base pair in this reaction. At the same time, HNO3 and H2NO3 plus, given in brown, is another conjugate acid base pair in this reaction. In other words, there are two conjugate acid base pairs in this reaction. They are H2SO4 and HSO4 minus and HNO3 and H2NO3 plus.
think you have got a clear idea about conjugate acid, conjugate base, normal Bronsted base, Bronsted acids. Um, if you take one more example, H2O react with NH3, water react with ammonia to produce hydroxyl ions and NH4 plus. When this reaction happens, who is losing hydrogen? Water. Therefore, it is a bronsted acid. Because H2 bronsted acid produces OH minus, it is a conjugate base. Now, bronsted acid H2 is giving hydrogen to NH3. So NH3 is a bronsted base and it makes NH4 plus conjugate acid. We can find out H2 and OH minus, H2 and OH minus are uh, one conjugate acid base pair in the system. And then ammonia and ammonium. Ammonia and ammonium is one conjugate acid base pair in the system. There are two conjugate acid base pairs. They are H2O and OH minus and NH3 and NH4 plus. We are coming towards the end of this. There are a few important points to remember. One thing, a Bronsted acid is a hydrogen ion donor. A Bronsted base is a hydrogen ion acceptor. A Bronsted acid forms a conjugate base. A Bronsted base forms a conjugate base. A Bronsted acid and its conjugate base are called a conjugate acid base pair. A Bronsted base and its conjugate acid are called a conjugate acid base pair. I hope this short video was able to uh, explain to you very briefly, but precisely this confusing area that you come across in AS equilibrium about Bronsted acids and Bronsted bases.